In this lesson, we're going to continue working with Ruby TK, and we're going to create a small graphical user interface that includes a button and an entry widget or an entry field for entering some text, and then we're going to use the button to manipulate that text. So let's get started. We're going to call this program hellobutton.rb. So the first thing we do is require TK. We're going to create a class this time to do something different. Call it Hello World, although it really has nothing to do with the program exactly. We're going to be saying Hello Name instead of Hello World. So we begin our initialization method by making some definitions. And some curly braces right here. Next, we're going to define a variable P that's going to contain the procedure that we're going to run when a button is clicked, and you'll see how that works in just a moment. Text is going to be the variable that holds the text that we both type and display. Again, you'll see how that works in just a moment. We're going to call this program Hello Name, or that's going to be the name of our window. Now we're going to define the frame. Next, we create a label, which will be a prompt to enter the name. Now we're going to create our entry widget, same thing as a text field. And associate it with our text variable. Then we pack it. Now we're ready to create our buttons. So we label the button, say hello, associate it with the command that's going to be run when the button's clicked, stored in the P variable, and then we pack it. Now we're going to create another button, an exit button. It has a built-in command to exit the program when we're finished. Then we're going to finish packing the form, or the window. And that ends our initialize method. Next, we define a hello method. Let me type it in, and I'll tell you what it does. Although you'll probably be able to see very easily. It takes the current value in the text variable and prepins or preconcatenates the phrase hello onto it. Prepin is probably a better word than preconcatenate, because I don't think preconcatenate exists. And that ends our class. So we're going to create a new object and then call the TK main loop, and we should be set to go. So let's save and then run. Here's our window. I'll put it right here in the middle. So you can type in a name, click Say Hello, and it puts that in the phrase. We can try it again. Then when we're finished, we hit Exit. I'll bring the code back up. But that's how you can combine several different widgets to create a working program. So now you've seen how to get data from a entry widget into the program and how to use a button to trigger a computation. In this case, prepending hello to the name entered in the text box. So that wraps up this lesson on Ruby TK and we're ready to move to the exercise for this chapter where we're going to write a program that lets users enter temperatures and converts them to either Fahrenheit or Celsius.